Walking without stumbling. What if your journey with Jesus turns out to be risk-ridden, will you still follow him? Kids learning to walk are called toddlers. That's what they exactly do, they toddle, keep their legs apart and hesitate as they take each step. They often stumble, trip and wobble, their walk is clumsy and accident prone. Like parents, God is also concerned about our walk. There are things in life that can cause us to trip and fall if we fail to walk in his divine light. The disciple said, Rabbi, lately the Jews sought to stone you and you are going there again. There was a growing animosity and hatred against Jesus in Judea. His groundbreaking claims as their Messiah only earned the wrath of religious rulers who looked for a chance to kill him. If Lazarus is already dead, the disciples thought there is no point in risking this journey. No one seemed to be happy about his decision and they tried their best to dissuade Jesus from going to Judea. In vain, Thomas blurted, let us also go, that we may die with him. John 11, 16. Jesus politely responded, a man who walks by day, will never stumble, because he sees the light of this world. John 11, 9 What he meant was, I am neither blind nor do I stumble in the dark, but I am always led by the divine light. He went to Judea and raised Lazarus from dead, many including his disciples who saw this miracle believed in him. When we choose to walk in the divine light, we don't stumble with bad decisions or worry about dreadful outcomes. There is no fear in following Jesus. He will reveal his glory when we get closer to the last leg of a long journey. Lord, may you guide my steps as I walk in the divine light of your presence.